In this video, we're going to demonstrate how the counter display components, the pinion gear and the dial gear, should be aligned and how they can be adjusted if they're not. The alignment of these two components is critical to the correct operation of your gauge. So, how do you know whether or not it's aligned correctly? Well, if the dial gear inside the assembly is aligned to the wrong set of teeth, the display will immediately lock up and this will almost certainly shear the teeth on the pinion gear. At the front side of the gauge, remove the counter cover and observe the mechanism. It shouldn't be so tight to keep the numbers from advancing after a full rotation of the dial. Other indications of tightness is excessive friction as the dial rotates and if there's no play when you jiggle the counter from behind. Also, the depth of the sprocket wheel shaft needs to be aligned correctly. If not, the dial gear can catch onto the housing and the sprocket will feel loose. Let's see how we actually align these components. We will work on the front of the gauge and you will need a screwdriver, a rubber mallet, and a couple of these shims that come with our gauge maintenance kit. First, remove one brass screw. Loosen the other two and remove the retaining ring and dial. Now we can see our dial gear. Whether you have a metal or plastic gear, the alignment principles in this video are the same. The tolerances obtained during manufacturing of the plastic gear are more accurate and consistent. Now we can check the alignment by rotating the dial gear. The notch should connect to one of the four raised teeth on the pinion every time it passes. The gear shouldn't be so tight to keep the numbers from moving up and down. It should be loose enough to freely turn and close enough for the notch to update the counter. To adjust the alignment, remove the dial gear. Loosen the three counter assembly mounting screws just enough to let it slide from side to side. Then slide the assembly to the left. Return the dial gear with the notch straight up. The manual states that the target clearance between the pinion gear and the dial gear is a hundredth of an inch, which is exactly the width of one of these shims. Bend the shim to match the dial gear's curvature. Now hold the shim on the left side of the dial gear and push the counter assembly closer until the raised teeth of the pinion just touch the shim. That's where you want it. Now tighten the two accessible screws, being careful not to shift the assembly. Remove the shim and dial gear and then tighten the last screw. Return the dial gear and check the movement again. Rotate it backwards and forwards at least four times to test the alignment on each tooth. Also make sure that there's enough space so that the display numbers can shift. If it's still too tight, repeat the same lateral alignment process, but this time use two shims to give it a little more room. When it's right, replace the dial, retain a ring, and fasten down the brass screws. Check out our other maintenance procedures on the Verit YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.